This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. This SQL video goes along with APEX 08. In APEX 08, we created lists of values, both static and dynamic. So now we're going to look at the syntax for the SQL query that is the basis for a dynamic LOB in APEX. I mentioned in APEX 08 that you can write the SQL code for each individual page item that you want to use in LOB. However, if you take that approach, that code is tied to that page item. If we create our LOVs in shared components, then we can use that same list, yes, no list, gender list, male, female, other lists that we might want to use in more than one page in our application. So building these in shared components means we can use those repeatedly in multiple pages for different page items. I also want to illustrate what data is stored when you use an LOV. If you make a selection, such as if I select Pitbull as the breed or dominant breed, what actually gets stored in the animals table. So let's go to Apex and see the SQL code for a dynamic LOV. I'm going to open our application and go to Shared Components and go to List of Values. I'm going to look at one of the dynamic LOVs, Status List, and I'm going to copy that code, then go up to SQL Workshop and go to SQL Commands. I will paste in that code, and what we see here is a select clause that lists two columns. Each column is separated by a comma. The syntax is select then the name of a column in the table. The as D is what's called a column alias. So we're calling the column status simply by the name D. Comma, then the second column is status underscore ID. It's being referred to with a column alias of R. You don't actually have to have the column aliases, but we'll leave them in because that's the standard syntax example that you get from Apex. Then we say, where do these columns come from? From and list the table. And then order by. Order by one indicates that the list should be sorted by column one. So I can run this and I get the results here in the lower part of the screen. So for the status adopted, we have a return value of 5. Available return value of 4. The D is for what will be displayed, and the R is for what will be stored in the column. So what we see is people-oriented, and what we store is actually relational database-oriented. So let's take one example where we have available, which is four, and let's go back to our application. I'm going to go ahead and open that in a different tab in case I want to come back to this. Go back to my application. I'm going to run the application. Click the report. I'm going to scroll down so I can get to my scroll bar. And we know that 4 means available. So let's take a look at 1050, dog 1050. That dog is available, so we see 4. If we go to edit this and we come to our LOV, what we see is available. So we're seeing the word available, but at the database level, coming back to SQL commands, let's try something else here. Let's look at four columns. Select animal underscore ID, primary color, name, status, each column separated by a comma. 
from the table animals where animal underscore ID is equal to 1050. And let's run that. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not status. It's status ID underscore ID. Let's try that. So this animal, which is black and tan and named Presley, the status is four, which means available. Coming back to our report, or coming back to our form, let me bring this down. Here's our animal, black and tan, Presley, and we see the words available. This shows the difference between what we show people when they're selecting data to enter into the database and what actually gets written to the database underneath the application.